Okay, so communities, and we always hear from the city, people parking and poop, right? The three big complaints. Um, because we're all different, but we need to come together in communities, mm -hmm. what are some ways that people can navigate to create a better experience in their community for them? You have to find out what essence or what the difficulty is, as you mentioned three, but there's a, there's a number of other ones out there that are there. We have to kind of divide all of those, put them into segments and find out which ones the city can look after, which ones the residents, if you have one association, can look after, and which ones the community association can help you with. And as well as, I mean, we've seen a rise of block parties where you actually get to know your neighbors. Yes. How can we make sure that we are interacting with our community in such a way that it impacts the community? It isn't simply, I, you know, I drive home, I get into my uh, house and, and I have a, a time. The community is that, it's interaction. You have to decide where you can interact, how you can interact, and the best organization that interaction deserves to go to. And that's where really investigating, you know, your your stage of your life and your needs in your life to ensure that the community you're moving into uh, is is right for you at that time. Well, exactly, and I mean, there's a number of uh, the circles of those influences could go, or they could be very small. It could be simply your condo building. That's where you need to yes. interact because yes. that's. That I don't think I'd last judgment. long on a condo board. No, but it, it could be <laughs> the community association at large. You know, it, it's a number of different circles that go out, and you have to find which one you're most comfortable with and where it impacts yeah. your life. So, Leslie, you deal a lot with uh, like community activities and stuff. You see a lot of them. What's kind of the latest thing that you're seeing that you think is kind of neat or cool or different? Like what's been coming up? I know that we've had people getting together, making meals and things like that. You know, we have so many rich activities in this city, certainly walking as uh, Shane has suggested. Yeah. Uh, we are actually activating YYC right now uh, oh. with walk grants. So we're getting all sorts of interesting uh, celebrations of culture out of it. Uh, you know, just people getting out and being neighborly and I would say that's the first step to any sort of engagement. You know, sometimes our, our built form, the front car garages, uh, don't actually engage us with our neighbors like they used to. So it's really important that we make efforts to get to know our neighbors, and sometimes it takes a physical activity, um, maybe a little library, for example, to get people talking and to get people to understand the issues that are actually affecting them. Perhaps it's not dog poop in the park. Maybe it's the fact that people just don't know each other well enough. Uh, yeah. and, and so we would advocate that any activity that brings people together and creates that neighborly bond is actually strengthening the neighborhoods across Calgary. I, I couldn't agree with you more. It's one of the reasons why we decided on the show that we wanted to do a feature every episode of, you know, a hidden gem park. Places that we've forgotten that are there that we can go and walk to and walk around. Doesn't cost you any money, but you get out and you meet people, you greet people, you engage. So, you know what, you guys, this is awesome. This is awesome. That's what we just need to tell everybody in Alberta, everybody in Calgary. Just get out, get to know your neighbors, talk to people, engage with people, be open, right? Okay, so real quick, you got 30 seconds. Positive words, something that we can instill with our viewers out there. When you look at a community, there's so many aspects to it, and you have to make sure within that community you have that. We've talked a little bit about built form, but today we're building communities with such a variety of built forms. Multi-family, single family, detached, front drive garages, uh, porches with lanes, as well as uh, commercial aspects in that community. They use the term often, and, and you can say it's trendy or whichever, live, work, and play within your community. Yes. But you have to have each component to really satisfy a life of a, of a family in that community. And if you can do that, you've got a very positive place to live. That is great, Leslie. You know, Shane probably said it all, but what I'd like to say is Calgary is rich because of the volunteer nature of our communities. And when you're looking for a place, think about the built form, about the amenities that you're looking for, and about the people. Uh, and the more diverse the community, the richer it's going to be. So, uh, you know, celebrate what we have here in Calgary, which is our community associations. Check them out. Uh, and at the same time, look at your needs and, and pick something that fits your family's current life. Thank you to our panel guests, Leslie Evans, Shane Keating. Thank you so much for taking time to come and share with us. So join us online for the full panel discussion at homesandlifestyles.ca.